Hello out there, comic book fans. The other day, I had some uh, money left on an Amazon gift certificate that I was given for my birthday. And I knew that I had uh, Red Sun coming to Barnes & Noble, the movie. And I was like, hey, why not? So I ordered... The graphic, the trade paperback, or not the trade paperback, or graphic novel from Amazon, and it was supposed to come today. And when I got home today, boom, stuffed in my mailbox. These guys have to be a little bit more careful, because if you saw that one video that I did, there were some uh, creases in it. But let's see. Ah, uh, look at this. Superman, Red Sun, it is the trade paperback, look at that. There's the back. Sorry about the glare. Let's get this so I can read it. I wanted to read this story and Millar did not disappoint. Once again, Mark proves he has one of the most original voices in comics, not to mention a particularly distinct grasp of the comic book superhero. And good God, is it gorgeous to look at, too. Kevin Smith, writer-director. Boom. Here, here it is. And then you look. So you have this part that says, uh, Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Strange visitor from another world who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel with his bare hands, and who, as the champion of the common worker, Fights a never-ending battle for Stalin, Socialism, and the international expansion of the Warsaw Pact. This is a startling twist on a familiar tale. A certain Kryptonian rocket ship crash lands on Earth, carrying an infant who will one day become the most powerful being on the planet. But his ship doesn't land in America. He is not raised in Smallville, Kansas. Instead, he makes his new home on a collective in the Soviet Union. Boom. And then if you take a look at all the different art, this actually looks really good. I've heard some I've heard some good things about this, so I'm gonna try and Excuse me, I'm going to try and get it read before uh, before my Blu-ray of it shows up. I don't like doing the digital downloads. I like the actual uh, hard copies, as you can sort of see over there. I've got all these things. It's, you know, I'm old. What can you say? So on the way back from work, before I got home to find that stuffed in my mailbox... I stopped by the local comic shop, Bosco's. Now, we're having the Arctic Comic Con up here in April. Third one. Uh, into the first two, and it turns out that one of the people coming is an artist, and one of the characters that he did was Firestorm. And I remember I had all the Firestorms when I was a kid, and I, I don't know where all the books went to, but... Uh, Stopped and looked, and I found a bunch of uh, the run that I had from number one on to, I think, the first, like, 20 of them. But I didn't have enough money. But I did pick up this one. <coughs> this is Firestorm number two. I think this is volume one, number two. <coughs> Excuse me, as opposed to volume two, which was the ones that I was reading. But if you look at this, this is the origin of Multiplex. And oddly enough, if you look, who is in this book as well? It says, Firestorm the Nuclear Man, you're the Man of Steel, help me ta tackle Multiplex, the duplicate villain. And Superman says, sorry kid, you're on your own. Sounds like a communist to me. Oh wait, different storyline. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, I, uh, just wanted to show you guys what I got, and, uh, 
What did you think? And enjoy your comics. <laughs>